In this video, we're going to look at the three different loops that are available in the C language, and we're going to use those to generate a table of body mass index values. We will begin with uh, programming constructs that we've already looked at, so in, uh, that we've already, already used. So in this program, uh, we have the comments up at the top, and this just says the program produces a table for the body mass index, BMI, and we're going to input the person's height in uh, feet and inches, and we're going to produce a range of body mass index values that are going to be varying by the weight. And the equation to calculate body mass index is given here. You'll recognize the pound includes from our other programs already this, in this course. And we're going to already put some code in here because in this example we're just looking at the loops. So we're going to declare some variables for the feet, the, the height in feet and inches. We'll calculate the height in inches and we'll have a beginning weight, an ending weight, a start weight, and of course our body mass index. To start out, uh, we will ask our user to enter their height in feet and inches, so here's just the printf to do that, and the scanf, which will read in those two numbers as integers. And then we'll go ahead and calculate the height in inches, since we'll need that for the body mass index equation. So that is here. Then, in order to create the table, we're going to let our users pick the beginning weight, the ending weight, and the increment. So, for example, if we wanted to start at 100 pounds and go to 200 pounds with an increment of 10, then we'd enter those three values here. Now, given that, we want to generate the table using a while loop. So, let's look at how we can do that. So, remember that a while loop just begins with the reserved word while, and then we have a relational expression in parentheses, and as long as that expression is true, then we will stay in the loop. All right, so what we want to do then is to figure out what to put as our relational expression, and then we'll have the body of the code that will go here inside the curly braces. In this example, we want to just to generate a table of values with a beginning weight and an ending weight. So our user has already input their starting weight and their end weight. So we just need a variable that we can use to go from the starting weight to the ending weight. And I've already declared that up here as just weight. So before we enter the loop, we need to initialize this variable weight with the value that we're starting with. So weight, to begin with, is the starting uh, start weight. Okay, so that will initialize start weight to the beginning value. Then we want to vary the weight until it reaches the end weight. So our expression, while weight is less than or equal to our end weight will be what we need to put here. So as long as the weight has not reached our ending weight, we want to continue to stay in the loop and generate a table. To do that, we need to calculate our body mass index first. So we need to do a body mass index, and that's equal to the weight divided by the height squared. And we could use the, uh, the PAL function, or we could just use height times height to get the square. And then multiply that by 703. Now, if you look at the, the types for these things, weight is an integer. Let's hover over that. Weight's an integer, and height's an integer as well. So this would turn out to be an integer divide if we left it like it was. So we need to convert that to a float by putting our uh, typecast operator in front of the variable weight, and that will cause the body mass index to be calculated as a real number. Once we've done that, then we can print out the values. So we'll do a printf, use a double quote, and inside the loop, we don't want to print anything but the values for these two things. So we want to print out the weight, and we want to print out the height. So the weight is an integer, so let's use a percent of 4d for that. And the body mass index is a floating point value, so let's use a percent, and let me double check that I make that a float. Okay, yes I did. Okay, so the body mass index will be, let's do a percent, 6.2f. So that will print two numbers, then we'll go to a new line, so backslash n, double quote, comma, and then just print out the variables, weight and body mass index, right print. Semicolon. All right, I missed a d double quote right there, so let me put the double quote after the backslash in. Alrighty, so inside the while loop, we have computed a value for the body mass index, 
with the starting weight and we printed those two things out. In order to uh, move on to the next weight and to eventually terminate the loop we have to increment the value for weight. So we'll do weight is equal to weight plus the increment where the increment was entered by the user earlier on. And that will complete all the information that we need to put inside the while loop. All right, so just given this much, let's go ahead and build our program and run it and see what we get. Okay, we'll build the solution. Okay, the build has succeeded, so let's run our program. We want to enter our height in feet and inches, so let's suppose we're 5 feet 10 inches tall. Now we want to enter the starting weight, ending weight, and the increment, so let's go with what I mentioned earlier. Let's say 100 is the start, 200 is the ending weight, and let's vary it by 10 pounds each line. Okay, so in this case you see that we get a table for the weight varying from 100 to 200, and we get an enormous value for the body mass index, which is not correct. So I made a mistake in my calculation, so let's go back and fix that. All right, float weight divided by height in inches squared times 703. Okay, so we need to make sure that we are dividing by height squared, which we aren't. So let's put parentheses there. So that will mean that we will square the values for height first before we do the division. Okay, build it. Run it a second time. There's our height, 5 feet 10, 100, 200, increments of 10. And this time we do get a much nicer table. All right, so in this case you'll see that we did go through the loop starting at 100 and we stopped at 200 and we added 10 pounds each time. So we calculated the, the for the each weight and for the given height, we have a body mass index that ranges from 14.3 all the way up to 28.69. Now this would be uh, the bare minimum, but this is not really a good output format. So let's go back and add some improvements to this by adding a header and some, some column headings to this. Now outside the loop, because we only want to do this once, we should print out some uh, headings here for our table. So let's do a print F, okay, double quote, and we're doing this with three loops, so let's indicate which loop we're using. So let's just write a while loop, okay, uh, backslash N, double quote, right, print semicolon. Okay, then let's do another print F where we're going to put some headers into our table. All right, so let's do double quote. Uh, on the left, we have the weight. Okay, let's put a couple of tabs, and then let's put the body mass index. So those will be our headers, double quote, right print, semicolon. All right, now uh, before we enter the loop, let's do another, let's do a print F, and let's do a double quote, let's do a backslash N, which I could have done along with the previous output, but we'll just put it right there. All right, now inside the loop, since I have got a couple of tabs between the column headings, I want to change my printf statement to add a couple of tabs here so that the columns will align. So I'll do a backslash T, a backslash T, and now everything should line up. All right, so let's try this improvement. We'll build it. Now we'll run it. And let's put in the same values as before, 5, 10. 100, 200, increments of 10. And this time we have uh, column headings. So we have the weight on the left with the weights underneath it and the corresponding body mass index here. So that's almost centered. We could go back and reformat that a little bit so the body mass index would be more centered over that column. But at any rate, we get a nice uh, table now of uh, body mass index corresponding to those differences in weight. And this is all done with a while loop. Now, uh, let's terminate that and move forward, and let's see how we can do the same thing with a do while loop. 
Now the do while loop is very similar to the while. So to uh, eliminate some of the, the typing and to make this video shorter, we could just copy all of the stuff that we just did with our while loop. And you see all the stuff that's highlighted. So we're going to just copy that entire thing. And we'll paste it into here underneath our do while. All right, so under our do while loop, we're going to generate the table. This printf statement here has skipped four lines between the tables, so this time we're going to um, have some space in between. Let's edit our output. This will be an output from the do while loop, so we'll print do while loop. Uh, then we have wait, tab, tab, and I'm going to put a couple of extra spaces in here because I know that that BMI is not quite centered. Okay, then let's change this loop so that it becomes a do while loop. All right, now the easy way to do this is we can just take this entire line and we put it at the bottom of the loop and we add a semicolon afterwards. At the top of the loop where we just removed our while, we'll re replace that with just a simple word do. And now we have a do while loop. So at the top, the do while only has a single word do. And at the bottom, the test for exiting the loop will show up down here. So the, uh, the while will show up after, this is important, it will show up after the, the right curly brace. You could even put this on the next line if you wanted to. And do not forget to put the semicolon on the right hand side after the relational expression. Alright, so now that's all we need to do. We didn't need to change anything in between. We still are doing the exact same calculations. And also note that we always, since we just calculated the loop changing our weight, we need to reset the weight for this do while loop back to the starting weight. Now, given that, let's, uh, let's build this program and see what we get. The build has succeeded, so let's run it. Now, this time, we, uh, we're going to get two tables. So we still are going to do, have the, we'll do both tables with the same information for the height and weight. Okay, so let's do 5 feet 10, let's do 100 starting, 200 ending, 10 increment. And if I scroll back up, then here is the while loop that we just finished. And if we scroll down, here's the do while loop. So we have exactly the same table. Now the BMI is centered over this column a little bit better. So we have a nice table with 10 entries showing our weight and corresponding body mass index using the do while loop. Now let's try the third loop that we have in C programming and that is the for loop. Now as we did earlier we can save some typing if we copy some of the information that we just did. Okay so I'm going to copy um, I'm going to copy the initial header information the printf so I'll copy that and I'll paste it in here. So we're going to edit this now. So this will be done with the uh, for loop. So let's change the do while to four. We still need to print the column headings for the weight and BMI so that can stay the same. But now we have a totally different kind of loop. So let's look at how that loop works. With the for loop, you start with the word for and then in parentheses we have three items that we need to include. The first, un first item is the uh, loop control variable. It has to be initialized here. So we're going to initialize the weight inside here, inside the loop itself. So weight is equal to the start weight. Now we terminate this first item with a semicolon. The next thing that we put in the for loop is the relational expression that allows us to exit the loop. Okay, so weight less than or equal to our end weight. So whenever that is true, we'll exit the loop. I'm sorry, whenever that is false, we'll exit the loop. And then the third item that we put is the increment that we want to add each time we go through the loop for weight. So weight is going to equal to weight plus 10. And then we close that uh, parentheses. Now we have the body of the loop, just like we have the others. But with the for loop, we have a lot of stuff we can do with a single line. So remember, the first item, you initialize the uh, loop control variable or the thing that's going to vary as you go through the loop. The second item is going to be the relational expression, just like you do with the while and the do while. As long as this is true, you remain in the loop. And the third item that you put inside your 
uh, initially initial part of the for loop is the increment that you add to the loop control variable. All right, so we put all those three things together in parentheses. Now, in the body of the loop, we still need to calculate body mass index, and we need to print those values out. All right, so we can borrow those two lines from the previous loop, so we have the calculation and the printf statement. That will not change. So I'm going to just copy those two lines from the do while, and I'll paste them into here. And let's set the alignment. Okay, now notice I did not copy the weight is equal to weight plus increment because that is already done up here. And I made a mistake on that. It should be weight. I know the increment is 10, but it could change. So it should be weight is equal to weight plus increment. Because the increment is input by the user. All right, so that's all we need in the for loop. The for loop is very powerful. You can you give it a beginning value, an ending value, and the uh, delta between values, and then these lines of code of this body is executed until this becomes false. So now we'll get a third version of the table with the for loop. All right, so let's build it. It succeeded, so we'll run our program, and now we'll get three loops. Okay, so let's stick with the numbers we had: five feet ten, weight from one hundred to 200 in increments of 10. Hit enter. And now we have the body mass index table with a while loop. We have a do while loop. And we just did the for loop, which shows up down here. So this is an example of how you can use the three looping constructs that are available in the C programming language to generate a table of values. Now this can be a table of anything that you can think of. So we can make uh, a different calculation here and we can make a temperature table and uh, we can make uh, uh, temperature tables, body mass index tables, anything that you have that you want to generate into a, a table you can do this. So refer to this example to show you how to use the for loop, the do while loop, and the ordinary while loop. And that concludes this video.